Welcome back. You already know the basic rules of Go. You know what it all looks like, how territory is divided. It might even look a little too simple. Well, let's just say that games don't always look so picture perfect. In reality, your opponent is going to try every clever trick to outwit, outsmart, outmaneuver you to get one point of territory more. And you should absolutely do the same thing. And I'm going to suggest a mini game that will get you prepared for this. Now, forget about surrounding territory for a second. Here's what it's going to look like. Before the game, we put four stones in the middle of the board like this, in a cross-cut formation. This is to make the game more fun and aggressive from the start. Black plays first, and whoever captures one or several stones first wins the game. It's that simple. You will soon discover, however, that in order to get a win in this seemingly simple game, you need to get a very good grasp of several basic techniques. This minigame is called Atari Go, and contrary to what the name suggests, Atari is not really the best strategy here. If you try to Atari blindly like this, right from the beginning, maybe Atari once again, you will discover that after white saves all the stones, black is left with lots of weaknesses and it's impossible to fix all of them. Some of black's stones will get captured. But let's try a trickier opening move. Black can simply extend first. And it seems like this move doesn't do anything, but it has a hidden threat. If white doesn't respond properly, let's say white makes this extension, then black can get this Atari next. And it looks just like all the other Ataris that we've seen before, except it isn't. Now take a closer look at it and think, can the white stone escape? This extra black stone turns a simple Atari into a devilish trap. If white tries to escape now, then black is not going to Atari from here. Now white escapes and the white stones are saved, but black can Atari from here. Now white only has one way of saving the stones again. And now another Atari. And again, only one option. And another Atari. And you probably see where this is going. White is driven fast to the edge of the board. Another Atari. And another one. The white stones are lined up in this zigzag information that looks like a staircase. And so this combination is called a ladder. And it's one of the most common techniques in the game of Go. Ladders are not often played until the end, like this, because at the end of a ladder, one of the players always loses a huge number of stones. But both players always consider possible ladders many times during the game, and aim for them if the ladders are favorable, or avoid them if they're not. This ladder is not favorable for white, so white had to avoid it before it even started. Knowing about this threat, white could play, for example, like this. This move avoids a ladder and threatens another one, now to the upper right. And now it's already black who needs to be careful and avoid it right now. For example, black stands like this. And this threatens yet another ladder to the upper left. White could save the stone like this, or maybe like this, and the game would continue. Now keep the ladder in mind and let me show you one more trick. This one's going to be called a double Atari. If there's one Atari, it's almost always possible to simply save your stone. But if there's a double Atari, it means that you can't save everything. Something just has to be sacrificed. Let's say the game of Atari Go starts like this, very aggressively. Atari first, white extends, black blocks, white tries to escape, and another block, trying to capture white no matter what. If white is not careful, with the very next move, black can play Atari, and all of white stones will be captured. Game over. So white has a lot of moves at his disposal here. White can play here on the second line, Atari here, Atari like this, or like that. There are lots of moves that white can try here, many different Ataris, but there's one move that is clearly better than all the rest. So where should white play now? The best move that ends the game of Atari Go right here is this Atari. And the reason for that is very simple. It puts two stones in Atari at the same time. If black tries to save this stone, then white will capture this, and the game is over. If black connects here, then white will capture this stone. And again, the game of Atari Go is over. White wins. So noticing an Atari quickly is very important, but noticing a double Atari is incredibly important. 
because in a game of Atari Go, it allows you to win the game right away, and in regular Go, it allows you to capture something and get a very nice advantage. So Atari Go is a fun little mini game, but what's especially great about it is that it prepares you, it guides you, and it helps you play Go next. So go ahead and play several games of Atari Go with your friends. You can also modify the rules of Atari Go ever so slightly to change things around. For example, you can play the game not until you capture one stone, but until you capture three or five. This will change the strategy in the game and it'll become a little different. And as always, go smash that like button, leave comments and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And I'll see you guys in the next videos.